The Privy Council has unanimously dismissed the appeal of former FIFA Vice President Jack Warner against extradition to the United States to face corruption charges. We have more from Wayne Cunningham. In 2020, a U.S. Department of Justice indictment said bribes were paid to football officials to secure their votes for World Cup hosting rights. A former member of FIFA's executive committee and former CONCACAF president, Warner was suspended by FIFA in 2011. And in 2015, charged with wire fraud, racketeering and money laundering by the U.S. FIFA banned Warner from all football-related activity for life in 2015. The 79-year-old has always denied any wrongdoing. In an immediate response on his official Facebook page, Warner outlined the background of his case and stated, I continue to have confidence in my team led by Fayed Hossein, senior counsel, and I have advised them to continue to press my case on the three remaining stages of these proceedings. The Office of the Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs in a release stated that the Privy Council's judgment has affirmed as correct the decision which was earlier made by the Trinidad and Tobago Court of Appeal. The judgment determined further that in dismissing Mr. Warner's appeal, there was no necessity for it to consider any of the constitutional issues raised by Mr. Warner about the relationship between the executive, the legislature, and the courts in Trinidad and Tobago. Attorney General Reginald Amor SC has assured the citizenry that the rule of law and due process are alive and well, and the law must now be allowed to take its course. Wayne Cunningham, TTT Sport.